Jeff Lewis hosted a super spreader event that he says was almost worth dying for. The Flipping Out star revealed on his Sirius XM radio show Monday that he spent the holidays recovering from COVID-19 after he threw a party for his employees. That was an epic party. It was so worth almost dying for, Lewis, 51, said of the December 21st bash, which resulted in several of his colleagues contracting the coronavirus. Lewis went on to explain that co-host Megan Weaver, assistant Shane Douglas, actress Monica Casey and Shaz of Sunset star Merced Ajavid Fate all became ill after attending the event, along with his and on-again, off-again boyfriend Scott Anderson. Thursday is when everyone started testing positive, Lewis explained, revealing that a third of the attendees ended up getting COVID-19. We also have people with symptoms who haven't been tested yet. I don't regret it, by the way, he added. People are saying we're reckless and stupid. No, we're not, F curs. We were all vaccinated and we had a nurse there testing all of us before we even went in the door. I thought we were being responsible. Lewis then went on to detail his really bad experience with COVID-19 over Christmas. Christmas Eve, I tested negative, so I went to my family's Christmas Eve dinner, he shared. I did wear a mask and I stayed distanced, then I started feeling sick at dinner. I went home early. Lewis said he was in pretty bad shape the following day. My fever went up to 103.8. Scotty took a bowl of ice water and was putting cloths on my body to try to bring the temperature down, he recalled. I was a little delirious and I told him, I think you're going to wake up tomorrow and I'm going to be dead. Lewis confirmed that for the time being, he will continue distancing himself from his five-year-old daughter, Monroe, who has been staying with her other dad, Gage Edward. I don't want her to get sick, and I also don't want to take care of her because I don't have any nannies," Lewis said, noting that even his housekeepers have COVID-19. I'm down to two, and if anything happens to those two, I'm not going to be able to feed myself. I don't know who is going to be able to take care of me.